What's up my witches? It's Stephanie here. Same everything um, as last week. Uh, I'm just doing a couple videos. Um, so I got this new deck and I'm I'm kind of in love with it even though I haven't been able to use it that much. Um, and I'm not really much of a tarot person and yet again I'm sorry for all the lightning thunder. It can't really help itself. Um, it hasn't rained in like a week so we need it. Um, but anyway so back to the deck. Love, love wild tangents, right? Um, so anyway, I kind of love this deck because it's not a tarot deck. I'm not much of a tarot reader. I don't really like having to memorize all of the different, like, you know, oh, this is what this means and this is what this means and blah, blah, tweet, tweet. So, um, So I like decks where I can be, you know, more me and I can be like, okay, this is what it means to me and this is what it feels like to me. So this is, and it's part of the Wild Unknown Tarot. I feel it is a little bit of it. Um, the artwork looks very similar, but it's the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. Now I probably won't be using the guidebook. I'm going to be using uh, the DIY Totemism. Um, Lupa has some really, really awesome ideas in here on how to like find your, and I'm not going to ruin it because that's a whole nother video. But anyway, I'm going to be using her book to kind of use this deck a little bit. Um, so of course, there's a guidebook. That was the outside cover that comes with it. And then you get the deck box. So you see you have the four main elements and then that one, the circle is actually, um, that's the mythical creatures. So. You'll be seeing that. And like, there's holographics everywhere. It's, it's a really beautiful deck, guys. Um, and then when you open it up, it's so pretty. It says, may you always be on the inner quest. So of course you get your guidebook. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, it goes over everything, like different animals and you know, what they mean and stuff. Um, or what they feel that it means and you know of course it's got different sections for the different kinds of animals so I really like that um, I like I said I probably won't really use it that much um, what I really like about this whole box set is the deck comes in a smaller box um, I can take this box out and I can take it with me I don't have to take this giant monstrosity with me or have to come up with like a tarot card bag to put them in it comes with its own little but like you know keep it safe box oh and it's holographic too just like the outside cover so that's really awesome but the same symbols on the back two feet four feet scales are hide may our minds stay open and our wings span wide that's so cute I love it I'm like the first one there is a bear so kind of scale pattern if you remember the other deck, which I'll probably pull that one out and do a card review on that one as well. But um, it's got a scale pattern. The other deck, if I remember correctly, had a darker scale pattern. Um, but look at that. That's freaking beautiful. Like, I like the minimal amount of color that they use for the deck because it really makes it pop. So, I guess Bear would be the main one for Earth. I know a lot of people think bear is the main one for earth. I, I agree, but that's me. Um, and also bears for like healing and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. Should I just go through the whole thing for you guys? I think you'd like that. Okay. So there's bear and there's earthworm and mouse. I'm pretty sure you can read and understand what a picture is. Um, now me personally, you can, I feel that you can use these cards like, eh, like for fox, you don't have to think of red fox, you can go with arctic fox, um, and snake, you can go for any kind of snake, um, or legless, you know, anyway, um, so if they don't have your exact animal in here, you can use one of the other cards as like a bridge card, like, you know, using deer for mule deer or white-tailed deer or the swamp deer or whatever, you know? You don't have to think just one kind of deer. Wolf can go for any kind of wolf. You can go even for like dire wolf or something, you know? 
which I don't know if that's in the mythical one. Spider can go for any kind of spider. So I feel that you can use these as bridge cards for any animal, um, as long as it's close enough, you know, which I think that she gives you, or yeah, I think that, um, Kim Kranz, I think she gives you a really good, uh, selection of animals that you can go through. Like fish can go for any kind of fish, you know, go for sailfish, go for guppies, octopus, I don't know if they have a squid in here, um, beaver, I think next one, oyster, so, you know, they give you a really good selection. Turtle can go for any kind of turtle. I am turtle. My favorite. <laughs> I'm such an otter, I swear. Shark. I like the swan because it's a double of itself. Because you really never see one swan alone. I like dolphin. That's really pretty. Whale's kind of cute. And I like that she's got fire ants in here too. I mean, seriously. Not everybody thinks about these. You know, they don't think about hyena. They don't think about fire ant. You know, some people think about scorpion, yeah, but... I like lizard. It's like so colorful. And then panther is really nice, though I really don't agree. Like, isn't a panther just a lion or a leopard or a jaguar that has a lot of extra melanin or something? It's just like the opposite of an albino. I don't know. So I'm not really super like ooh panther. Um, they even have a camel in here, guys. I mean, seriously, they are trying to. She she is really trying to cover her bases. Cheetah. <laughs> you a cheetah. <laughs> they got Tiger. I really like Tiger because um, Tiger was the high priestess on her other deck. And I really love her Cobras too because they're just beautiful. She's got Zebra on there. Like I said, you can use these as a bridge to go to other ones. I like Elephant. That's just... That is, to me, what an elephant is. I'm like, yes. That, I, I wholly agree with that. I like moth. It's a lunar moth, I think they're called. But they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love these moths. And they even have butterfly in here. Oh my god, we saw so many butterflies on that trip. I think I even took a videotape of one. They have bat on here. I mean, come on. They even have fireflies. They have bugs. You can use firefly or the bee as a, you know, bridge to any of the other bugs. They even have vulture in here. I like the purple. Like, I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. Like, a lot of people are like, ooh, vultures are nasty. They're really, really necessary. We have to have them. There's crow. I don't know if she has raven in here. There's owl. So you could probably use crow as a bridge to raven if the card isn't in this deck. They have nightingale. Nightingale. She even has peacock. I don't really like peacock. Because, like... I feel that the whole thing of Peacock is the tail, not just its head. I mean, she kind of put the tail on the top of its head, but I really, I really feel like Peacock is mostly just tail. There's Hawk. I really like that one. I've seen Hawks actually do that, so. There's Eagle. Ah, and now we get into the mythical creatures. So the mythical creatures, like, you see that these, the um, symbol, the el element symbol on the top is not shiny. There's this, like, holographic shiny. So there's Phoenix. Which I don't know why she did it like that, but it's kind of cool. There's a sea serpent. And these definitely you have to use as bridges to other ones because she can't put all of them in here. Um, there's a dragon. There's a golden egg. I'm not quite sure what golden egg is. There's a black egg. Yet again, don't know why she's having eggs. There's a unicorn. And there's a cosmic egg. So, she's got this thing with eggs in this deck. Sorry. I'm like really anal. I'm like, I love these cards. I don't want them ever to get hurt. So, I really, really, really like this deck. Um, I don't wholly agree with all of her symbolism and all that. Um, but I mostly agree to the point where I can actually use it. Um, 
for me, this is a great deck. I don't know if it would be for everybody. I know a lot of people, um, their symbols or their um, totem animals or however they want to call it are not always represented, which is why I said that you sometimes have to use bridge you know, cards as a, hey, this is not quite my card, but it's close enough that I can still use it. Um, like I said, I will be using some of the things from Lupa's DIY Totemism book to help me, you know, in finding totems and in being able to speak to totem animals and stuff like that. But I think the deck will help a lot. Um, I do not regret the purchase, though. It was a little bit much. It was like 40 bucks. So, um, all in all, I like it. Uh, I would buy that one over her uh, over her tarot deck, like any day, even though it feels like there's less cards in it. Um, I don't know. I just I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it was like forty bucks at um, at Books a Million, but you know if you get discounts and stuff, you can always jack the price down. Um, so that's pretty much everything I have for you guys. So bless be. Have a great day and goodbye.